coming up on this episode. Well, we did some tests on her, and uh, we're waiting for some results. She had a seizure the first night she came in, and she was doing good yesterday, but she's not doing as well as yesterday. And the owners want to pick her up because they don't have money. A few days ago, one of the kennel guys left the window open and like six cats got out. So when we came in that morning, we seen them out here, we were all catching them and stuff, and we were able to get five of them. But according to Beverly, she said she saw three more cats that are ours. And that's what we're out here doing, trying to get them. Hey, look, what's the kennel? We see no cats on here. Yeah. Uh, this dog's getting uh, eye inoculation. It's, uh, she's gonna remove the eye. I think he only has the one eye left. So, so he's gonna be blind? Or? Yep. It looks like it has a small rupture in the cornea. Yeah, it has a ruptured cornea and it's deflated. So probably maybe got a really bad infection that it never was treated properly. And so the cornea actually ruptured. Once the kind of liquid has leaked out of the eyeball it's actually really hard it never really fills up again properly so it can be painful hold on him we just take those eyes out so that hole there is where it was ruptured and leaking the fluid so that eye was already not visual and probably painful so um, by removing it we can remove a lot of the pain you have to make sure that you get all the tear glands out. The tear glands can um, continue to make tears even once the little eyeball is out. And they can fill this pocket up with fluid. Okay, it's looking good. And we also cut the eyelids off because it's more cosmetic when the eyelids are cut off. And then it just looked like there was never an idea in the first place. Okay, was this little dog exposed to dogs that have this temper, or why do you think? Um, he was coughing a lot, had a lot of upper respiratory signs, and he was having some GI signs. Uh -oh. So that was my concern. Um, knock another one down for him. I'm gonna work on Lola because Lola doesn't look good. Lola, what's going on, Lola? You don't look good today. And do we have the shampoo? So Lola is another little puppy that uh, came in not eating, not you know vomiting, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea. We did a parvo test and it was negative. What is that parvo test? So we we testing her again. Is that negative? Yeah. yeah. It's just weird, her paws are swollen. Well, we did some tests on her and uh, we're waiting for some results. Um, but yeah, we wanted to start on an IV catheter, especially puppies that haven't been eating. We want to make sure that they start eating and get some uh, dextrose. If not their sugar levels drop and they have seizures. She had a seizure the first night she came in. And she was doing good yesterday, but she's not doing as well as yesterday. And the owners want to pick her up because they don't have money. So I don't like these guys who sit in their urine and poop. So we try to clean them up. It's easy on small dogs, but... So we had a young puppy that came in um, for vomiting and not eating and the owners think that he might have gotten into something but didn't know quite what. Just so we took some x-rays and there was definitely a lot of gas, a lot of unusual gas in the stomach and what looked like 
maybe a stick or something like that. So we went in um, to explore and remove whatever foreign body was in there surgically, and we actually pulled out an entire, like a, a paint stirring stick, the entire thing, not even chewed, broken half, anything. And it was about, about this long in size, and the dog itself was only about this big. So how that dog even swallowed that entire thing whole, we'll never know, but he'll certainly be feeling a lot better without that inside of him. So the little dog that we removed part of the hip joint after it was hit by a car, that dog went really, really well. The tricky part with that surgery is, unlike other orthopedic surgeries where we you fix a bone or something of that nature, and you, the dog needs to rest for a couple of weeks, for six weeks while the bone is healing, the important thing when you remove part of the hip joint is they have to go right back to activity or else their muscles will get too weak. And we depend on those muscles to keep that leg it, functioning correctly and so this little guy three days later was running around in that leg like nothing ever happened no one can tell he doesn't have a hip joint there he's probably a lot happier without it and of course his owners are just thrilled that we were able to do that surgery for him here this one um, is doesn't have a lot of bleeding sometimes the hit by cars have really um, have a lot of bruising and a lot of scar tissue not scar tissue but a lot of bruising and a lot of bleeding internally already so it can make it really hard to see where the muscle bellies were to begin with this one was more of a simple disarticulation so it's easier to see where the muscles are to get down to the hip joint this particular surgery is going to be tougher than my than when i normally do this surgery because it's a bigger dog so he has more muscles clearly when i have a little chihuahua I don't have to dissect between so many muscles to get to the hip joint. Then once I'm to the joint, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna need somebody to exteriorly rotate this knee if you wanna come around on the other side. Gosh, this seems so big. I'm used to like tiny little femoral heads. I don't often do these surgeries on such a big dog. You'll see me pull it out in just a second. And that's pretty much all the exciting stuff. And then it will be just closing it up from there. I was saying in smaller dogs, it only takes me about 20 minutes. This one's a little bit, guys, a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper to get to the bone. But I had to pound a lot more than I normally do. All right, there we go. Yep, this is the hip joint. This is the ball, you know how the, the hip is a ball and socket joint? So this is the ball part of that ball and socket joint. When the, when the dog got hit by a car, this, rup, this ligament is what ruptured. And so since that, ruptured, that ligament ruptured, it was popping out of the socket and it was, it was never gonna stay in the socket on its own again. So if we had, to, this was a pretty recent injury, if we had waited too much longer, all of this would become, become arthritis because you can see how kind of the edges there are a bit sharp. So the edges on the inside are a bit sharp as well. And so I'm filing them down so they don't rub on the, on the other part of the hip. Yep, perfect. Now I just have to close the muscle layers that I opened and the surgery is finished. And there we go. This particular surgery has a really short recovery time because we remove the actual ball and socket mechanism of the hip joint, we depend on these muscles to stay really strong for normal movement of the leg. So for surgeries like this, I recommend just three days of rest to allow the tissue to, the bruising to go down and um, the inflammation to go down and then right back to full use of this leg because I don't want these muscles to get any weaker. If these muscles get too weak, then the recovery process will be a lot longer overall.
Costco Pico train. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just got him yesterday. He's a, he's a love and joy, you know. He had a lot of fleas on him, but uh, we brought him in. He has worms. Yeah, he has a little worms, you know. But uh, hopefully he gets better soon. He's a joy to the house. Talk to your vet as soon as you can. This is something really critical to save uh, the health of Rosco. Okay? We do recommend to have uh, bitter food. Okay? Uh, we need to build his muscles, we need to build his calcium and vitamins. Okay? So we need to have him in a better presentation. But he's drinking normally, am I right? Mm -hmm. Today you will go with some few drops of the, to, to, to deal with the wounds, which you have seen it in the stones. Okay, uh, it is just once in two weeks. You repeat it. You give it today. You will wait another two weeks, and then you will take the other one, and then you will wait another four weeks, and then we will do the another fecal testing to be sure that there is no more in the severe. Do you have a medical placement at home, or you don't have? No, no, at home, no. Okay, so we we'll give you some milk replacement. How much milk should you drink? So you just finish just a tube of that, and that should be enough for the day, or no? He needs more. He's growing. And you, I, if you have a scale at home, it's better to have to scale him every day to have a record of that because he has to grow every day. That's it. So. Uh, that's it, so we will give you some medication today to control the worms. We will do the deworming uh, and we will give you another dose to maybe to come after two weeks to do it or after ten days to do it and we will check the fecal again, again in four uh, weeks and we will see you in eight weeks, eight to twelve weeks to start the vaccination process. Okay, that's it. Do you have any question for me? Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now this should 
your baby's not gonna like this, okay? I know, hold your baby, because your baby's gonna be so mad at me for this. Oh my goodness, okay? Huge. But it's it's a, it's fluid. I know, I know, I know, Russell. Oh, it's okay. Done. Okay? Oh, it's gonna go down. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna, the body's gonna absorb it because he's dehydrated. Oh, I know. <laughs> Almost cracked the tear off the glass. No. Oh, oh, that's really? so cool. Oh. oh, really? Is that a boy or a girl? Boy. You're gonna neuter him, right? You're gonna neuter him, right? Yeah. He's gonna oh, live long if he does. He's gonna, I, I promise you. He will live longer than that. Yeah. He's way too. She's gonna hold him like that for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's a good idea. That's my spot right there. <laughs> you know, my ex-husband once said to me, "Can't, can't the dog sleep on the couch?" And I said, "You can." It's the end of my marriage, right oh, there. Right there. Oh, man. Bye bye. Have a good one. Okay. Bye bye. My name is Fred, I'm with Saving Gizmo and Friends. Uh, it's a corporation out of uh, Beverly Hills where we rescue animals uh, throughout Los Angeles. We uh, go from uh, Santa Barbara all the way back to uh, Palmdale and back into Los Angeles. We work with facilities like these where we come out and we pick up the dogs, we get them uh, their treatment, the medication, and we get them fostered and then uh, prepared for adoption. She breathed it. We're taking the fleas off, but they just need to dry it. Hopefully, we won't make it sick, but it's too wet right now. All right? Okay. Kitty, and I'm not warm enough to keep it warm. And there's like a lot of signs of flea dirt on it. Oh, kitty, tell them I think I'm getting it warm. It. Tell them to get a kit. I need a dry towel. I'm just sitting here with a wet cloth. Okay? Just give me that first, because the shaking will make it dry. I think she dried. I think she washed it, so it wouldn't look so bad. See? This is all evidence of like fleeter. And um oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, kitty. Poor kitty. Do you mind uh, taking care of this kitty? Amy, you need to do it right now. Can you do it? It needs blow dry. It's too wet. It's wet. You know how to blow dry a kitty, right? Okay, she doesn't know how you're not gonna burn it, are you? Okay, come on. Oh, that's right, Amy's a cat lady. Amy, come on. Can we blow dry this kitten really well? Oh, and it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Unbelievable. Dr. Anderson, I need to know how this woman... But you need to have to see a chart. You're talking about something I'm not Because she just said the reason that the lady's sitting here two hours is because they were waiting for you to write up the meds. Who is it? The Why dog that was hit by a car, Triton. I haven't seen a dog that was hit by a car. They have the meds up there. I know because that's the one that, that Vicky helped me fill out because I was doing rooms and everything. She saw that I was busy, so she did it on her own. Okay, like that's bullshit. It. They're they're like really it's not fair. The lady's like going that this always happens to her, they forget about her. And she's not she fair. Alright. Because they said they handed you the meds quite a while ago. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. Did you figure it out? What are you doing? Did you, did you just like slap them around? Good. They can come back and take the dog back. They're crying. They just don't have any money. They're actually using their electric money yeah, that's what right I'm now. And I told them not to use their electric money. Look, the heart of darkness is crying. No, I'm not. I just, something's in my eye. See? I'm not crying. I am not crying. I just have a headache right now. Why are you crying? Tell them why. I'm not crying. 
And she's so great. She walks around so good. She, Robin was madly in love with her. Madly in love with her. What's wrong with she said she's gorgeous. Dog. I know. People don't That's realize three-legged dogs stupid. are just as viable. The reason dog. she's crying about a three-legged dog is because she's pretty much legless herself. <laughs> so she realizes that it's only a matter of time before she too will be a three-legged dog. Am I going to get adopted into a good home bit? No. <laughs> Duchess, we believe she's 13 or 16 years old, and she lives um, with a homeless man. She's lived with uh, him, I think, her entire life, and um, she, he takes good care of her, except she has never had dental work done, and um, if you see her, she, her teeth are really bad. She has um, a molar completely sticking out and can hardly eat at this point. We've heard this clinic um, they have a good reputation, and she knows of them even living up north. And she sent me down here and told that she Okay? Fucking don't start on me with this shit today. All of you. Where's Nash? Get the fuck out of my way. Where's Nash? I just fucking walked in. Everybody's attacking me, and I'm supposed to be the one that understands everybody. Does anybody give me a goddamn break? Only normal person here.